Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand one small lab of FTP in packet tracer. How to perform lab of FTP file transfer protocol in packet tracer. For that, first of all, let me design one small topology here. I'm going to take one router and I'm going to take one server for TFTP for FTP. So let's say this is my FTP server. Let me change the name. This is FTP server server. And then we are going to take one switch here to connect multiple computer there. And let me take some computer, some PC here, two PC, one, two. From PC number two, this is let's say PC one, PC one, and this is PC two. From PC number one, I am going to upload some file to this server, to FTP server, and I will try to download that file uh, on PC number two. Okay, so let me first connect this device together here. I am going to connect PC to switch, switch to router, and this router to this FTP server. Okay, this is my small lab. Okay, now first thing is we need to configure IP addressing. So let's say here in my LAN, I am using 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. And here this, this side, I am using 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network. Okay. Let's say IP address of server is 10.1.1.10. 10, and IP address on this router interface is 10.1.1.1. Here also on the router interface in LAN side 192.168.1.0 let's say one dot one is the ip address and pc one ip address is 192.168.1 dot one dot let's say 10 and pc2 ip address is let's say 192.168.1.20 dot dot one dot okay this is my ip configuration let me configure these uh, ip addresses on the interface of this device and then we will continue the configuration first thing is let me configure ip on server so on this server go to desktop ip config and here we can define ip address 10.1.1.10 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and then gateway ip address is as you can see gateway ip address is 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 this is ip configuration of pc oh, sorry server here we can verify the ip configuration as well ip config so you can see IP address of this server is 10.1.1.10 and gateway IP address is 10.1.1.1. Okay, now let me configure the IP address on PCs. First, let me configure IP on PC1 to PC1. Here IP address is 192.168.1.10. Submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and gateway is 192.168.1.1. Okay, this is IP configuration on PC number one. Let me configure IP on PC two in the same way. So click on PC two, then go to desktop, then IP config after that 192.168.1.20 and gateway IP address is 192.168.1.168.1.1. Okay, this is IP configuration. Finally, let me configure IP on this router. So on this router i am going to configure ip on these two interface say no here and config t and here i think it is not visible so let me write it here okay interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 then say no shutdown and on this interface i am going to define ip 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 exit interface fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 and say no set and here I am going to configure IP uh, 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 before configuring FTP service on this server first of all I am going to verify the connectivity between these devices so from PC1 I am going to ping server so from PC1 this is PC1 in the command prompt I am going to ping 10.1.1.10 which is the IP address of FTP server you can see 10.1.1.10 let me check the connectivity uh, first time first packet will you know drop because of ARP uh, after that you can see I am getting reply from the server okay 
and from PC number 2 also I am going to check the connectivity let me ping 10.1.1.10 from PC number 2 also ping 10.1.1.10 yes from PC number 2 also I am able to ping the server okay now I am going to configure FTP service on the server first let me take you here on FTP server you can see serv services section in services section you will get FTP service here FTP service by default the service is enabled and there is one entry as well username is Cisco password is also Cisco you can create one new username as well let's say my new username is Cisco 123 and my password is Cisco 123 and my password is let's say CCNA password is let's say cc and a and after that add okay this is the uh, you know username and password configuration on the ftp server after that on ftp server we don't need to configure anything else on ftp server by the way you can see these are the file available on this uh, ftp server okay and now i am going to access ftp server from pc number one from PC number one let me check I am able to access FTP server or not so here you will write command FTP and then IP address of FTP 10.1.1.10 .1 yes it's asking for username username is Cisco123 and then it's asking for password so password is uh, CCNA so let me write CCNA here and I am able to access FTP service I am going to close this session of FTP first I am going to create one file here on this PC let me create one file here text note editor and here I can write something let's say hello hello world hello world and uh, you can write anything right in the file and after that we, we need to save this file here save it and then uh, enter the file name so let's say file name is hello.txt okay and let me save the file okay I have saved the file here and now I am going to save this file on in this FTP server so let me take you to again command prompt again I need to access FTP server first FTP then 10.1.1.10 and then the username cisco123 you can access this server with you know actually we have two entry on the tftp server so from anyone you can access this server and password is ccna my password i have access of ftp server now if you want to put something there on ftp server from this pc you will use put command put and after that the na file name file name is hello.txt right txt so let me hit enter and you can see here um, my file is uploaded my file is copy 15 byte bytes uh, copy in uh, itna se in 0 0.076 second so uh, that means transfer complete transfer complete 15 byte of information is uploaded on this FTP server right if you want to verify so here on this FTP server you can check the directory directory if I will check directory here so you can see in the directory there is one file called hello text I write on the this FTP server fine now I am going to download this file from PC number 2 so on PC number 2 you to download the file from the server FTP server you will run command get get and after that name of your file name of my file is hello dot txt and sorry first of all I have to access the tftp server then only I can get the this file so tf sorry ftp ftp and then uh, IP address of ftp 10.1.1.10 it will ask username cisco123 and password hccna and after that here I can say get get means to download and then file name hello dot txt and now you can see 15 byte information is downloaded downloaded here and now in this PC if I will close this session of FTP here and in this in the PC if I will check the directory so in the PC directory you can see you have one file in this PC that is hello dot 
txt right so this is how we can perform lab of tftp and now guys if you read want to read the data you want to capture the packet so you can use simulation mode in packet tracer that feature we have right to check the source port destination port in that ftp in the you know tcp session in the scene message in plus act because ftp is tcp based protocol so between pc1 and pc2 it will have this server will have one uh, you know tcp session and then only they can exchange the they can only exchange the file right they can only uh, save the file on the server or download the file from the server okay so this was a small video a small uh, lab of ftp server in packet tracer guys if you learn something from this video if you like this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today thank you thanks for watching